my garbage person of the week, I feel a little bit bad because I don't know, maybe I shouldn't, but I, I do feel a little bit bad. I'm curious what you think, Brett. I, I was a big fan of the show Squid Game, apparently most people were, including Chrissy Teigen. And Chrissy Teigen decided to do a fancy Squid Game themed party where she went in costume. Actually, if you've seen the show, you'll recognize this, this costume of Chrissy Teigen. And she had a bunch of people over, including some other celebrities. Shay Mitchell was there. They were, they had this like thing, like you know, iconography from the from the show of the ball of money, and they're all in costume. And they had the guards were functioning as servants. And it, at one point, something like that happens in the show, so it makes me really uncomfortable. They did games, and um, yeah, they uh, they got. Like the big prize for the party was a flight to Napa Valley and dinner for two at French Laundry. Now, no word yet on whether she's watched the show. I imagine she has, but there's some fairly obvious lessons in Squid Game and a bunch of really rich people cosplaying as participants in a death match for desperate debtors. Seems wrong in some way. Am I a bad person, Brett? What do you think about this? I honestly don't know where you'll come down on this. This is full on District One stuff, like Hunger Games District One. And I know that like it's it's all the same themes, Squid Game and Hunger Games. But like for rich people to cosplay as poor people, I don't care about this. And I don't think you should care. And I don't think other people should care. And that caveat when people are like, you guys are, oh, and now they're eating their own. They're canceling Chrissy Teigen. First of all, I did it first. <laughs> I never got her. She doesn't get the stuff that she's talking about. There's no reason for her to be a celebrity aside from the potato smashy that John once made from her cookbook and it is delicious, whatever. Don't think she like invented that recipe, but <laughs> like this, she literally had people okay. come over to her house and gave presents away to like rich people funding rich people's trips to the French laundry, which like she drops her own name to get a table there, by the way. Like you and I, good luck. I'll go while you're talking about it. I'll look up. I'll get reservations at the French sure. Laundry. Oh my god, I'm imagining it's expensive. Yeah, I look. If you were rich, I get it. You still want to live your life, and I get that. Like carefully analyzing everything you do, or understanding how much of popular culture, a lot of which is not written, at least by rich people, even if it's produced by rich people, uh, might be critical of you in a lot of ways. Might be exhausting to constantly be analyzing yourself in that way. And look, I'm more. I think she's been clever on Twitter. I think her smashies and other uh, uh, recipes are delicious. But this was just like I don't know if is there a show that they could more not get the message up. Or maybe they get it and they just don't care, I don't know. But this is like the most rich person confronting show on TV of the past couple of years. And it just right over the heads, I, I just, I don't get it. Okay. There is, so when you go on the Super French fast. Laundry website where it's $350 per person add on, I don't <laughs> even know what that means, but um, it's 350 bucks per person plus add ons, so that's it. Yeah. Um, and they, you can only book through the end of December. So for the next two months, not a single table is available. Yeah, well, they were all taken by friends of Chrissy Teigen. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, so thank you for the research. That's my garbage person. I feel a little bit bad about it. Like she's not, you know, trying to stop you from getting like cheaper prescription drugs like some people, but it's still just maddening. But anyway, we also asked you as we do every week for your garbage person of the week. And so 33,000 of you voted on our poll. And coming in at number five with 2% of the vote is Chris Christie for, bombar for bombarding the airwaves with his nonsense. A tie at number four and three. With 8% of the vote, you have attorney Kevin Go for trying to kick black pastors out of court. Also Marjorie Taylor Greene for her price of blood comments, which were abhorrent. Also Brett Ehrlich for not liking the matrix anymore. Coming in at number two is Michael Flynn with 19% of the vote for declaring the US needs one religion. Guess which one? And at number one with 63% of the vote, you have Judge Schroeder. This I think the audience is gonna be happy to see for acting as Rittenhouse's defense attorney. And just you know making the whole thing even worse. It was always gonna be bad, but it was worse because of him. That is your community garbage person of the week. Thank you to the 33,000 of you who voted in the poll.
Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.